is Patricia Weavers Carter, Senior Manager of Transport in ICT Middle East and North Africa with the World Bank. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for asking to be here. So why is it important for you to be present here at the World Meeting in Riyadh? It's very important for a global organization such as the World Bank Group uh, to network with um, many people in the transport industry, in the road industry, and many of the people we would like to just talk about road issues are here in Riyadh this week. Um, how are you enjoying the meeting so far? Very much. Um, it's uh, been very well organized. There's some very interesting sessions. Um, so no, it's, um, it's been very good so far. What have you enjoyed the most? What did I enjoy the most? Um, I enjoyed the ministerial session this morning um, very much. I actually was quite struck by a McKinsey uh, presentation which emphasize that even though you know, trillions of dollars are needed in infrastructure investments in the next 20, 30 years, I think it's about 60 trillion he mentioned, um, he expects only 3.4 trillion to be financed by public-private partnerships. And so, you know, how can we finance the rest? It's actually a rather interesting uh, presentation. What is the World Bank's message to the global road community? Uh, the message it focuses very much on safe, uh, affordable, and clean uh, transport. Uh, and we're very pleased that uh, the IRF is sponsoring the uh, decade uh, of action on road safety. That's something the World Bank is very much focusing on. Also, um, I'll be chairing a session in a moment on people with limited mobility. Uh, just like road safety, it, was, it is an issue which actually not many people are thinking about. Road safety is becoming much more important, and I think we have a similar push for people with limited mobility. We're talking about the elderly, uh, women with babies, um, who are disabled, physically disabled, in wheelchairs. Um, so that's something which we should be focusing on a lot more. How can the IRF help you deliver that message? Well, the IRF um, has some fantastic um, state-of-the-art knowledge, which incorporates in training programs. And so working together with the IRF, we will be able to bring state-of-the-art knowledge um, to our um, partner countries. How have you used this meeting to increase your network? Well, a lot of our partner country, uh, countries are here, uh, ministers of transport, so I've had a chance to talk with them one-on-one -on, -one on the various issues, uh, but also colleagues, uh, various private sector organizations are here. And so this is a great way just to talk about issues, make new connections, and um, to see the, the transport world um, in a larger perspective than what perhaps one normally sees when sitting in Washington, D.C.